War spoiler discussion. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, so we fresh off watching Avengers. We just did our review, our non-spoiler review. So now we about to jump into this uh, the spoiler discussion. So we will be giving away all the twists, what happened at the ending, yep. who died, who lives, all that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> so uh, I said before. This was a uh, Thanos movie, man. Yeah. Uh, they kind of told this story through the eyes of Thanos to me, and um, and it was like you can either get behind the dude or you can be like root against him. But I mean, it's hard to root against him because it was so much his movie, you know. Yeah. I mean, because uh, <clears throat> I remember, I, I what was I said? Uh, like it's like a Greek tragedy. This is the tragedy of Thanos. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like. This is a hundred percent his story, you know. It's like because the way they weight all of the story beats is even in his favor. It's like, well, that was horrible. Yeah, mm. had to be done. <laughs> right. And how many times have you seen a villain cry, right. sincerely cry, right, on the screen? Yep. You know, and especially <laughs> to have moments of people talking about, no, you're a monster. You don't have moments like that. It's like you couldn't even understand. Damn. Yeah, right. <laughs> the weight just, of my loss. Yeah, he just feel like, you know what I'm saying, this, all this shit is for real necessary, you know what I'm saying? It, it it's forms not, kind of a dark mirror to, to the heroes. Yeah. Because they show what they're willing to, to lose to save everything. Mm -hmm. He's like, I like that about you because I just sacrificed that very thing. Right, 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 right. He, so he's saying, like, um, you think, oh, I just want to save if the I'm willing to sacrifice what I love to save everybody. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it's deep, man. It's kind of deep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we can talk about, we can talk about uh, some of the deaths in this movie. Yeah. Um, so they started off with um, with one uh, um, early. Yeah. Uh, Loki. Yeah. Loki bit the dust. <laughs> Possibly. For real this time. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, man, he dead as a motherfucker. Man, look, I even love, like, Thanos just made, even what, said, yeah, you ain't coming back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You ain't coming back. <laughs> Loki dead as a motherfucker, y'all. <laughs> and look, and I, I wouldn't have seen it coming, but Loki talked too much shit, man. I mean, you know what? And I'm looking like, wait a minute, though. You know, and I think this is kind of, uh, they... Decided to change the writing on this because wasn't he, um, wasn't he working for Thanos? Yeah, at first, yeah. So, I mean, they kind of like forgot that shit. I mean, oh, Thanos didn't forget. Well, no, it's just <laughs> the way they played this, he should have been like, okay, uh, yeah, you, I, and he brought him the stone. Yeah. Why did he let the shit get destroyed in Asgard? You know, so what we talking about is Thanos collecting the stones, and as you know, at the end of, um, um, at the end of uh, uh, um, Thor Ragnarok, Thanos' ship showed up, and where this picked up at, um, it, it, he pretty much just um, fucked up all those Asgardian refugees because he knew they had the uh, he had the Tesseract, right? And um, so, if it wasn't for Loki, they'd have been fine. right. But see, wasn't that his job to begin with? Yeah, they kind of made him seem like he. Was just trying to save his brother instead of yeah um, instead of bringing him the, the, the damn stone. I would he almost, did what he's supposed to have did. I would almost prefer it if he had meant to do it. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. like I'm like I kind of don't understand the writing because you saw that you saw the tesseract and you took it. Were you planning on doing something else with it? But when Thanos showed up, you brought it right to him. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It's like oops, I didn't try to do that. I was gonna double cross you. Like uh, we had a deal. Thank you. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? All he had to do is like, okay, no, that's cool. But look, man, I got your stuff. Right. And no, I got your stuff. Let him live. You know, and, and, you know, uh, Thanos is a man of his word. If he would have said he was going to let him live, he would have yeah. let him live. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, and like those two could have got away, except Loki tried to pull some shit. Yeah. And then I didn't like that shit. It's like, come on, man. This dude. It just... wasn't even slick. Okay. Right. Right. It was kind of slick, but it was pointless. And I'm looking like, okay. This dude just whooped the Hulk ass. Yeah. Hand to hand. Right? Literally outboxed the Hulk. <laughs> he boxed the Hulk and whooped his ass. Right? <laughs> and now you're going to try to pull out a little dagger and do a little sneak stab. 
Get the fuck out of here with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are you cut off? Are you? St- are you nah, I'm just. Head? I'm okay. just dark. And I was, no, 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 I was just saying your arm right there uh, is that cut off? Yeah. Oh no. Okay. As long as you in the shot, yeah. it's it's not all the way balanced. But right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hey. But, it, <laughs> no. but uh. <laughs> but no. Uh, um. He just whooped the Hulk ass. So you gonna turn around and try to do a little? I'm gonna stab him. I'm gonna act like I pl- pledge my allegiance and yeah. stab him. Now. I was cool with that whole move if he was that was a, a trick to save his life. Yeah. Like if he pretended he was dead or whatever. Just well, like so if it had been one of his illusions, you know. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think so though. I think that's the end of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <'cause, laughs> it was like I, I would have been able to to go with it if, if it was like, you know, I'm a I'm gonna make him think I'm over there pledging loyalty while I grab my brother and we get out of here. Mm-hmm. Nah. So. <laughs> Um. Uh. So he did. Um. <clears throat> sorry. Uh. Loki bit the dust, man. Oh, Loki we tried forgot. to Heimdall. Oh yeah, Heimdall. And he did. You know, and Heimdall did a, a nice little um last breath moment or whatever. But why? You know, I didn't. I don't know if that was just random. Was he just trying to save? Okay, so. Heimdall is a uh, Idris Elba character, and he can make the Bifrost Bridge. Am I correct with that? Yeah. Like somehow he can use his powers to make the Bifrost Bridge, and the Bifrost Bridge is kind of like uh, it can teleport you places, yeah. kind of sort of. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not exactly like that, but it, it can take you from here to there. That's how they used to get from Asgard to uh, to the uh, Earth or whatever, <laughs> Midgard. So, <laughs> uh, so he did a little quick little move and took. Hawk away after you know Hawk was fucked up on the ground after after Thanos whooped his ass. He he did a little move to take him away. Right. Why take him away though? Like that, was that just exactly a random? What I was thinking like was that just the only person he could get to because Thor was all bound up. Right. You know? But it just seemed like he kind of like you know uh, you won't get all of us. I could get the Hawk out of here. You know it's like really. Right. There were other people he could have yeah, saved. He could have, or your own self. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could still be collecting paychecks from Marvel. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, okay. It is what it is on that, I guess. So, Heindahl and uh, Loki, they both died. Um, uh, um, Thanos got one of the stones. Which one he already had? He already had, so he came into it with power. Because by the time we meet him, he's gone to Xandar and gotten that. So that was off screen. They never showed it. They didn't show that. No. Okay. Okay. Because I remember them mentioning that. Yeah. Where was that from? Is Uh, that the one? Guardians. Oh, that's where they left it with the Nova Corps. Yeah. Okay. So he got that stone. Right. And then now he got the, which stone is this? Uh, The Tesseract. The Tesseract, which is space. Okay. So he got two stones at this point and he killed. Two uh, as guardians, uh, he killed Loki and he killed a uh, Hound Dog. Then, then he went to uh, the Collector, right? Because he plus the he had the purple one, right? No, but he that's the one. No, no, that was the red one. They left the. Uh, that's right. They, that's they right. It came the, from Thor too. Yeah, they left the. Uh, okay, so he had the red one. Right. Okay, uh, which one is that one? Uh, well. Uh, one of the stones. reality, reality. So he had the reality stone. Uh, he didn't kill the collector. Uh, yeah, he did. He did. What Cause, happened in that? Cause, because cause that was an illusion that he made with the reality stone. But wasn't he over there like Bravo or some shit? Yeah, but as he, but like they showed him clapping as he disappeared. So that was all part of the illusion. He never was there. Never was there. Because he wrecked nowhere. Mm. So like there's nothing left alive in nowhere. Mm. Okay. So uh you know, I guess there ain't no point to talk well, I was saying no point to talk about who who died because at the end he snapped his fingers and half the population just yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh Doc Strange and Tony Stark and Spider Man and the Guardians went <laughs> tried to go head to head with Thanos. Right, which basically was, uh, hand delivered the Time Stone hot and fresh out the oven. I was wondering. Okay, let's talk about that real quick because I kind of had a problem with it, but I feel like it's part of it was part of a plan. Yeah, uh, that might not come to fruition until part two. I'm curious about that myself because, like, I don't know if 
So, like, they definitely made, especially in Doctor Strange's case, made it look like, no, no, this is what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that was like, no, no, I need you there at the final battle, or there's no way we can win without him getting all of the stones. Like, I'm thinking, like, they needed all the stones to be in the gauntlet at some point for some reason. Right, 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 right. It might be. Yeah. Um, I, or I was just thinking, okay, because at this point, uh, Thanos is trying to get the time stone from uh, Doctor Strange and uh, Iron Man and Spider Man, and they put up a real good fight. But uh, after a while, he he get the best of him. And he's about to kill Tony Stark, and uh, talking some more some more really good shit too. <laughs> right, and then and then Doctor Strange basically is like, you know, if you spare his life. I give you the time stone, yeah. and I'm like, "Where's what's the catch?" You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Where's is is it actually a bomb? You know what I'm saying? Was like, they was like, "No tricks now." <laughs> right? Yeah, they was like, nah, there "Ain't no tricks now." Oh, that's your ass, boy. <laughs> like, and when he said it, I could hear the boy in it. Like, <laughs> nah, I don't want no tricks now, boy. Like Yandu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no. Um, so when he did this, I'm kind of like, okay. You just gave him that. Like you just Something gave a, right you just there. gave an intergalactic terrorist a weapon of mass distortion. Yeah, yeah. Something tells me you got some. You you got some, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. So I think it is gonna be something with that, but uh, we we ain't gonna see what's gonna be the deal with that until um, the next movie. Right. Uh, but you did bring up a good point where he did uh, look use the time stone to look into the future and found no possible outcomes where they could defeat Thanos. Of the 14 million some odd thousand uh, possible outcomes he saw, only one of them ended in victory. <laughs> so, I mean, Man, this is... those this, are some long ass eyes. <laughs> and I'm thinking like maybe this is what uh, something he see had to be happening. I was just figuring maybe he just needed to get Tony Stark. Maybe... Uh, Tony Stark, he needed him alive yeah. for that to, uh, you know what I'm saying, for that one outcome to happen. The only thing that would disappoint me is find out, oh, no, this wasn't part of any plan. I just found out that I couldn't just let him die. Like, right. I, no. you know, like, After he specifically said, hey, it's between the time stone and you and the kid, I will choose the time stone. I will not let him get his hand on the time stone. I don't care if y'all die or not. Right. Just said that. Right. And like I don't want them to, I don't want him reneging on that. Right. I want that to be a hard line for him, you know, especially since he's one of the few people whose actual responsibility it is to keep that stone safe. Right. And that's what I'm like. Okay, but it has to be for a reason. We'll see probably in the in the next movie or whatever. Right. Um. So, uh, what was it? Okay, was that the last stone? Okay, we could talk about um, the collection of the other stone. Um, what's the the power stone? I think was that the power. No, no, stone? the only one left now is uh, the mind stone. No, 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 the one he got from uh, the mountain or whatever. Oh, right, the soul stone. Yeah, the, yeah, the high what he had to do for the soul stone, which was a very moving and touching scene. And I'm gonna break it down. Which uh, to get the soul stone, he had to sacrifice some. Mm. And <laughs> and we <laughs> talked about this earlier. So of course, he, you know, he 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 has deep deep emotional attachment and love for Gamora. He really think it's th that's really his daughter. He think of her as his daughter. Yeah. And he uh he feel like he raised her and he think and no matter how much she hate him, he really love her. And it's so funny <laughs> where the soul stone say you have to sacrifice something you love more than anything to get this stone. And for some reason <laughs> Gamora did not know it was her it was kind of funny actually like she, <laughs> like she got all in his grill about it's like oh man this must suck for you to yeah. get so close and to fail because you don't love shit yeah it's like wait really you crying you crying and then <laughs> no, she's talking shit like you crying little bitch you crying <laughs> you ain't bad, <laughs> but like, and then uh, when did you think it hit her that? Oh, me. <laughs> uh, oh, we forgot to say the soul. The soul stone had a guardian as well, right? Oh, yeah, and it was Red Skull. Was that in the comics? I feel like it was. Mm. I'd, I'd have to go back. And Maybe check. the Affinity 
I mean, because you know they did right. the Fendi Gauntlet back in like in the was that in the eighties? No, like I think it was like early nineties. And 90s. then they did the Affinity War. I think Infinity War is when they first a did later, that which I'm not too familiar with that whole um, series. I I keep my I keep bringing up stuff from each one. I it takes mm-hmm. me a while to parse out which came from which. Mm-hmm. But um, he like so he's like when he tried to take the Tesseract. Mm-hmm. He basically got cursed to being the guardian of the soul stone. Yeah. <laughs> First I of mean, all, shit. That's, that's some great get. poetic justice. I know. <laughs> oh, you want all this power? All you can do is look at it and help other people get to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, for he he looks at it and it's like, oh no. He's not crying for him. Wait, what you why y'all looking at me like that? <laughs> that was a good surprise though, uh having a. Uh, Red Skull yeah. show up because we ain't seen him since that movie. Like, and especially like before he reveals that it's him under the shroud, he like you don't even hear his accent. Yeah, and then like, oh wait, let me uh, <clears throat> turn the fans off, Billy. Yes, <laughs> and it's like, yes, it's me, the Red Skull. <laughs> so, uh, as you know, Gamora is the only thing he loved, so he had to sacrifice her. And for <laughs> when she figured it out. <laughs> wait, wait, no, 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 <laughs> no. Yeah. And that actually was a real moment yeah. uh, in the movie because he genuinely loved her and he did like, not. You could, like, the second he was told what it would take, you could see him, like, wrestling with that realization, too. Yeah. And, and when he was crying, he was, you know, because he had to do it. And he, he felt like he had to do it. He couldn't. Mm-hmm. He couldn't let nothing stop him from his goal, right? Which, um, which made him more, um, I think, more devoted. I mean, once you sacrifice something like that, you ain't gonna stop now. Well, like, and one <laughs> of the great things about Thanos' character is he's all about honor and duty, mm-hmm. you know. And so it's like he said he's gonna do what he's gonna do. He can't stop. This is what it's gonna take. It's gonna hurt. But he's willing to take that hit. Yeah. And so um this bring you know, which is this bring like a real good fight scene when he uh returned and uh he's fighting Iron Man and the basically the Guardians and um uh Doctor Strange. You know, and and that and that was a real good uh scene there. And uh they almost had the gauntlet, yeah. which I really love where they really kind of realized uh, how he used the power is to close. Don't yeah. let him close his fist. Yeah, I really like that scene. I, I, I like the fact that they figured it out, but the, on Earth they couldn't figure it out right. when he was after the mines. <laughs> but they figured out they couldn't let him close his fist. You know, well, you to know, uh, all use the, the gauntlet. All their smartest people <laughs> weren't involved in the fight. On <laughs> that's that. true. That's true. <laughs> like all their real brainy types are either on Titan. Yeah. Or back in in, in downtown Wakanda, or, right inside, but nobody was actually you know yeah. there. Um, but yeah, I, I did. That's one thing I really I really enjoyed them. Um, uh, that whole fight sequence was was pretty dope. Uh, so let's talk about his collection of the last stone, <clears throat> the Mind Gym. Uh, what you think of that whole uh, climax? Um, I felt a little bit cheated because they went through all the trolls saying, oh, no, I figured out exactly how we can take this the stone out of vision without killing him. Mm-hmm. And Shuri even uh, went and did all the, the heavy lifting. Like, she finished right. that just in time. She didn't get it out, though. No. Like, but, she gets connected all the neurons and whatever. Oh, but, so that might but be she a didn't, But she didn't get it out. Bring them back so that's probably going to be how they bring them back. But it's like... To do all that and then have Thanos just come in, especially with everyone trying so damn hard to get rid of the thing, he yeah. just, <laughs> I mean, he pulled out most of his forehead with it, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Which brings to uh, another part, when Thor showed back up uh, with the new with his new hammer. Yeah. Which, uh, that's in the comics. All right, yeah. all right. Excuse me. Which was dope. And he showed that he might actually be stronger than Thanos at that oh, point. Oh man, that, that with that hammer, that that <laughs> last line though, that last line. Which line? Uh, at at the end of the fight, uh, like Thor basically had beaten Thanos. Right. Should have gone 
for the head. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I was saying that uh, they knew exactly what to attack. Yeah, uh, on Titan with a uh, um, Stark and Spider Man or whatever, they actually had a good plan. Yeah, but they was uh, attacking them, and nobody was paying attention to the glove, and he was fucking just fucking everybody yeah. up, you know, with the wave of the hand or whatever. Yeah, like <laughs> no one would would even get or close. The gauntlet, like, oh man. Yeah, and I'm looking like I'm looking like okay. Get the gauntlet off. Don't just attack him. Get the gauntlet. But, you know, yeah. but, but they didn't really know what they was dealing with right. or whatever. And that's why I was like, <laughs> when he show up, stuff, this is this is everything I hate about with your boy Bruce Banner. Yeah. That's him. Right. I'm waiting on one dumb motherfucker. Of course that's him. Like, <laughs> I don't need every, you to say like, that. Everybody looking like, so we, we got him. Everybody's, what's going on? Oh, who's this dude now? Right. And I then, mean, and then like, hey, 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 that's the guy, boss. That's the <laughs> guy right there. You know, that's like, that's like somebody. That's like your little brother comes to you. That's the guy that that that, that shoved me in the locker right there. Point is, I figured. <laughs> sit your ass down. The point is, him throwing in useless dialogue was was kind of irking me. Yeah. Uh, about his character, uh, which is a, it's a small price to pay for uh, the rest of the you know movie. Yeah, like after he realizes he can't Hulk out anymore. Yeah, and we could talk about that. Um, uh, Hulk was in the Hulk bust. I mean, sorry, Bruce Banner was in the Hulk buster armor, which was the kind of thing, and and he was trying to turn into the Hulk, and he couldn't turn into the Hulk anymore. Uh, do you think Hawk is just afraid? Yeah. Is that why? <laughs> yeah. He uh, he got a little bitch in him now, you know. Yeah. Like he, because even going up against Abomination, which is technically canon now, right? He, he like it was like no no I got this do do mean but I got this Thanos dismantled him. Right, but it ain't like he ain't been yeah. down before. You right, know? it's like but like that's the thing that gets me is like. I don't understand why he's so scared when Thanos isn't in the room. <laughs> like that that be hey, that's that's some he, pimp, that's like, some pimp how, knowledge on your like, ass. <laughs> how how bitched out were you that all you need to know is that Thanos exists and you yeah. ain't coming out your room no more? Uh like don't Debo ain't even here right <laughs> he's now. Saying, man. He coming out of his room. Hey, he got in his he got in his mind. Shit. Yeah. He, he pimped his ass up. But um I just think, um, you know, without the Hulk, Bruce Banner is like, I just don't care for that character. You know, especially <laughs> even putting him in the Hulk bus drama, why bother? Yeah, I know. Uh, it's all right. Uh, Which led into some of his most horrible one-liners in the movie. Yes, that's the problems I had with it, which is a small problem. Yeah. So, um, so he's trying to get this last gym, and... Of course, they need they they have a uh, squalor witch is the only person that could destroy the gym, which is a poetic, poetic justice or whatever yeah. because that's his uh, the person he loved. So she destroyed the gym. I was like, well, he failed. I don't know why I forgot that he had the the the, uh, Cause the like, time gym. Because like they as the scene was progressing, I'm watching. I'm like, this is all great and everything, but at what point does he just okay? There he goes. Right? Did you you thought he was gonna do that? Yeah, like I forgot. Because for well, like that was one of the things that they did in uh, in fin- in uh, Doctor Strange. Well, not only Doctor Strange, but in the comics. Oh, it's so, like so like they show him you like basically using all the different stones to take out specific people, uh-huh. and then when shit finally isn't going his way, zzz, well, I mean, yeah, and uh, also. It's other things he could do with that offended gun that he didn't do in his movie, which is cool. What he did in the uh, in the cartoon, I don't know, if, I can't remember if he did this in the comics, but in the cartoon, it was like uh, the Avengers Assemble. Yeah, uh, they used to come on uh, Disney XD or whatever. Mm-hmm. But he actually beat them. No, no, they beat him, whooped his ass, and put him in jail and took the damn gauntlet, right? And they was like, "Oh, that was easy." And the whole time he was in their mind, made him see what they yeah. thought, which that never happened. You right. know, I was right. like, I wonder if he was going to do some shit like that or whatever. I, w- I would have definitely <laughs> been down for that just because it's like, he can do that. So, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's like, 
Well, they kind of did that a little bit with Gamora where she thought she killed him or whatever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, you thought. <laughs> so uh, he ended up getting his last gem because he used the time gem to, because they destroyed it. They destroyed it. They stopped him from completing his goal, but he used the time gem to reverse time and just took it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And I say, man, the ending, man. <clears throat> so where we was getting at before, where this movie, uh, it could have just ended because, okay, after he got the gym, he did, he snapped his fingers and took out half the population. And we could talk about real quick all the people that's gone and yeah. all the people that's still there. Now, uh, <laughs> so some people that I liked are gone, and I was pissed because I thought they was gonna get. They, I, I was going down the list of people I want to go and people I want to stay, <laughs> and some of the people I wanted to stay got vanished or whatever. Yeah, and I was like, "Damn it, man!" So, Black Panther, he's gone. There's no more Guardians. Uh, uh, there's Rocket. Is the only Guardian. Yeah, Rocket is the only one. Quill's gone. Uh, Drax's gone. Uh, Thank God, Team Groot is gone. Uh, no more Magic. Falcon's gone. Uh, uh, Bucky's gone. Bucky's gone. I'm I'm a little bummed out about that, but yeah. Doctor Strange gone. Spider Man gone. Scarlet Witch gone. Scarlet Witch is gone. So the people that's left is Iron Man, um, Okoye, Iron Man, uh, Okoye, um, uh, Black Widow, Thor, Thor, Hulk, and um. I said Tony Stark, right? Yeah, I said yeah. man. Um, it's, it's more or less it. Yeah. It's a couple more. That's all I can think of. I mean, you said Thor, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's still there. And so, uh, you know, did you agree with the people that? Man, I like. I, I'm a bit. I'm. I got mixed feelings on Spider Man just because, like, that's my boy. Yeah. But also. I don't need that kid. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't need some kid like because especially the way they play him up. Like he's so childish and he's so yeah. and he's always you know desperately seeking Tony Stark's approval. Really, and he's making the most obnoxious pop culture references. I mean, you hitting the, you hitting yeah. it right on the head like. They kind of going too far with that character. Yeah. <laughs> like, they really need to dial some of that stuff back on his character yeah. when they come back for like the, his second movie. I know he's he's starting to not be likable. Yeah, um, not because he's you know evil or whatever. He's just kind of annoying now. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's like no, no, dude, I don't like you. Right, it's like dude, just stop, man. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm I'm fine with losing the guardians. Yes, um, I I just don't care about them. Right, um, they kept the best one. Yeah, they really <laughs> did. Um, I'm bummed out about Black Panther. Yeah, I thought they was gonna keep him, but you need Shuri actually more than you need True uh, T'Challa. True, only because her knowledge on what she can do can help. Um, you know, spearhead yeah. a counterattack. Yeah, of course, opposed to T'Challa, probably he could be a, a good fighter on the front lines. But he don't. He don't know. He don't have the knowledge of Shuri. Has. Right. I, I mean, it's hard to admit that, but that's I mean, because he, he ain't he, like he's on. He's like he's up there. You know. Right. But he ain't on her but see, level. They're not gonna beat him with force. Right. You know. They have. They, they need. They uh, need uh, thinkers. Right. They need thinkers right now to come up with a brilliant plan yeah. for a counterattack. So like, we gonna get to see uh, Tony Stark and Shuri doing some collaboration on some science shit. Got to be. Cause they got they got cool. they got to have a real good plan. To, that's gonna be to, pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> you know, um, they probably gonna they probably gonna bring Hawkeye back into it. Yeah, well, they left you at a point where you thinking like, um, where you thinking like, how are they gonna get? How are they gonna get this back? You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, where do we even go from here? Maybe that's just it. Maybe they can't come back. Yeah, and in the, in in the weird in this weird I'm way because so they cool with it. Since they did this movie so well, I'll allow it. Yeah, I know. Like, and because the way it ended, man, it ended like this was the end of the movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They ended, he completed his goal and he took out half the population just like he wanted to do. And like, and I even love like when they asked him, all right, what do you do after that? Then I can finally rest. Like, it, I mean, he said, I'm just going to sit back and watch the sunset. 
and rest. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like, no, no, that's it. I'm going to wipe out half, half the population of the universe, and I'm done. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and I'm like, you can stop it right there. And they could just say, like, even we lost. Like, Let's go on with our lives. It's like, there's <laughs> nothing we can do now but try to pick up the pieces. Right. Yeah. You know? And especially to get that last shot of Thanos, just like, it's over. Right. You know, just Thanos gazing off into the sunset. But no, Which they is, had to give you the stinger with Thanos will return. Which I do like the fact on your on your stinger they give you a tease of Captain Marvel. Yeah. So now that kind of give you an idea. Oh, of, also, no more Nick Fury or uh, Maria Hill. Yeah. They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Why could you take Black Widow with your ass? God. <laughs> Let's get uh, rid of those weak motherfuckers. They got rid of all the <laughs> annoying people except for Black Widow and and uh, um, War Machine. Oh, those yeah. are quite. Those two are the probably the most useless. I ain't gonna say they're useless. Those two are the the weakest characters to me. I, I like to imagine Iron Fist is gone too. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> but no, so. You know that was in the movie, man, um, and it was it was a good ending to me. I could I would be cool if they just said, "All right, we're gonna just stop it here." They lost. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know that. Look, we, it, we, there's no avenging this. We just got yeah. There's no more Avengers. <laughs> you know, it's like I think our avenging days are done. <laughs> As a matter of fact, what I'm saying is, he's not trying to do anything. Now all he want to do is live peaceful. Yeah. So it's over. You not lost. Not only that, but like <laughs> looking at it, it is going to come about that he has done the world a bit of a favor. <laughs> it's like, like no one wants to talk about it, but the, the earth does have an overpopulation problem. I mean, it's people that will be like, agree with him, but don't want to admit they agree like, with him. <laughs> like, We'd like to be able to come to pull more resources out of our ass and be able to to keep everyone clothed and fed yeah. and happy, but <laughs> if suddenly half of the population was just gone, our resources would go a lot further. You know, it's like he even told Gamora about her home planet. It's like, yes, I killed half of the people on your planet. You know how how they are now? They are happy. No kid goes to bed un unfed, mm -hmm. unclothed. Yeah, I mean, he had a point. He had a real goal. It wasn't like a bullshit goal. You know, it wasn't. I want to take over the world just to take over the world. Like, and it wasn't even like <laughs> on like the Red Skull and you know on that Nazi stuff. You know, it's like it's not even like no. I think the world will be better if all of these people gone. It's like no, no. It's, I'm not. I'm not concerned about these people, those people, but somebody got to go. Yeah, and if I do it this way, it's fair. True. <laughs> So we're gonna wrap up our spoiler discussion, man. It was it was a powerful ass movie, actually, surprisingly, <laughs> for a comic book movie. And it ended well, man. And I can't wait to see part two, man. Oh. Uh, oh yeah. We'll see. That's next year, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah. Uh so we got a we got a couple of Marvel movies to get to before then. Right, right. And it's probably setting up Captain Marvel. So yeah. we're gonna see how that's gonna go. Uh, uh, yeah. What time you got, bro? 